the channel. I know this is a gaming channel, but we got to talk about this Mortal Kombat movie. Mortal Kombat is a game. It started off as a game, arcades, whatever. But we can't talk about this Mortal Kombat movie. The movie was absolute garbage. And I just thought that we need to talk about this. But before we get into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now. Thank you. Like, comment, share, do all that. And let us know what you thought about the movie. Because the movie was ass. I don't care what people say. The movie was ass. I don't care about the new lore. I don't care about the new generation of people getting into Mortal Kombat. I think for me, it is people don't care no more. This is like watching Dragon Ball Z Evolution or Dragon Ball Evolution. This is like watching The Last Airbender by M. Night Shyamalan. I think he did both of those movies, as a matter of fact. It's just, we know that people don't care about movies no more. But, like, at least consider your audience. Like, Warner Bros., bro, why, why did, like, this is your whole thing. Mortal Kombat is your thing. So why not, like, at least put in consideration? I'm tired of people. You know what? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because WB announced they weren't even doing the Zack Snyder. Snyder universe. So they have a self sabotage kink. I think yeah. they, get, they get. I think they get off a little bit on like sabotaging their like good things, things that are good. Because there is no way I could have looked at like be like, nope, we're not continuing a, um, a franchise that says that people think is actually better than um, Marvel at the point. I, that, I that could bring so. us a lot of money and a lot of a lot of fans and a lot of like attraction. No, we're not going to do it because what? Because nothing? I think so, too. Because not only did this movie not feel like a movie, it felt like a Netflix series, a Hulu series. And who the fuck is Cole? I'm sorry about the language. Who, the, who, who is Cole, bro? If you, you have Mortal Kombat have all these characters that they haven't even put in games yet. It's probably except Armageddon. Or what was the other drag, um I was gonna say drag, other Mortal Kombat game? It was Annihilation. No, Annihilation yeah. was the movie. Armageddon, uh, the Shadow Monks. No, you, that was like a shadow, uh, uh, role playing game or whatever. But like, you have all these characters and you add a new one. Why add a new character when you could have did this whole movie like Ash and Ash and Jinku? I know everybody knows Jinku. Everybody knows him. You could have had this movie based off in the future where Cassie is in there. And she's like growing up with and Sonya and Johnny's retired. You could have did so many things with this movie, but you Ooh. decide to bring in a new character, which is the most useless character beside the Resident Evil Alice, because this character was not needed. Okay, but before we get back into the how terrible this movie was, we're gonna tell you about the movie. So Spoilers, 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 spoilers. Don't click on those videos. I mean, well, don't continue watching if you haven't seen it yet. But this movie is around two. It's two hours. It's about two hour, hours. It's hour and fifty ish. And time. so it starts off with Behan trying to well kills the whole entire Hanzo clan, and it's a very good scene, especially when like Behan kills the people. He gets into the Hut or uh, dojo or whatever. I'm sorry if I don't really know the phrase. The Hanzo is getting in. He kills the uh, son and wife. The Before the wife dies, he puts his daughter into this little crate cubby where Behan doesn't, you know. Well, actually, the, the wife doesn't make sure the lady puts something. Yeah, the wife does. Yeah. Yeah the, wife, yeah, the wife put the baby, a baby, in the, like a hidden compartment for, I, I don't know how they even had that, they must have had that thing, yeah. a hidden compartment and stuff like that, then Behan comes in. kills them, Hanzo hears the screams, because he's getting the pellet water, but then the scene shows him running up the hill, like, not that far, like, the, this is the hill, and this is him, and, oh and it's that close, and people are screaming, he doesn't hear that. He doesn't hear it. So like that that camera right there or that transition to show him running was terrible. Then we get this great scene where he takes out some of the Behan fans or some of the Lin Kuei, I'm guessing. And it was it was a great scene. And this was the best scene in the movie, the whole movie. And this is the first 15 minutes. So that tells you a lot about the rest of the movie. So yes, they do get out. Behan, you know, takes out Scorpion, and before Scorpion dies, he tries to crawl to the baby that was in the coven. He disintegrates, you know, he goes to hell, and then Raiden appears. And so, Raiden appears, he, like, reveals his eyes, glowing, yeah. 
they did have the rating so many times. Like, like every time they had a scene with him, they brought like he's a new character. They did that. He had eyes glowing. Damn. I thought that he kept his hat down. Damn. To, for the audience to like, who is this person? Yeah, who is this? If who this is... for the new generation, we'd be like, who is this person? Who is this person? Like, we can't see his face. We don't know what he looks like. When yeah. are we going to see this character? Like, he's, got, the baby. He's, he's got a lightning powers. Like, oh my gosh, who who took the baby? We can't see his face. No, they yeah. showed his face, which he didn't look like a rating to me. He, this dude does not look like a rating. The, the cast was ass. The cast was terrible. So the rating, <laughs> quote, rating, rating, found the baby took the baby, you know, took the baby somewhere. He took off with the baby, you know, lightning bolt flash. I'm going to call this Raiden Raider. That's what he was. He's, a, he's like a, he's like a, like a Walgreens Raiden. That's what he was. And then we fast forward. Hold on. Before what? that, before that, and even in the setup where Hanzo is killed by Bihan, that wasn't really Bihan. It was Quan Chi, uh, like, transformed to Bihan to kill Hanzo. I believe that's the original... That's the story. That's the main games. The yeah, game, the game variation. So it's yeah. like, bro, you. I mean, okay, I can get it. Bihan actually kills him, whatnot. So and then when in the game, Scorpion kills Bihan in the tournament, which wasn't really Bihan, which caused the new Sub Zero to come in and like fight Scorpion, and so that's how that rivalry would be. Chi Rai Ryu and the Lin Kuei took place, but that's not what they did. They had Bihan kill Scorpion. So we go to the thing where Jalen is talking about. We go to like a, a fight arena, like an underground fight arena in the daylight. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why this is in the daylight. It made it seem like it was like underground or like sketchy. Yeah, and, like it's in the subway area. Like, it, it, and I, don't know, I thought Cole was there too. No, not Cole. Okay, we see Jax later on. Jax comes in. And I thought, oh, he's going to break up the fight before it gets too intense. No, he just says, like, I thought. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, besides that, we get introduced to this new character, Cole. Cole. Don't Do know. Do we care? No. 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 Do we care? No. No. We don't. And no, the fact is, I don't mind if he's the like if he's the new character. I do. But it doesn't add up whatsoever in this movie. <laughs> like they try to some. He did, bro. He takes up space. So he gets into this fight with one of the dudes. He ends up losing. He taps out. So I'm like, okay, you're going to have a character development where he begins to train and he's, he's fighting the best of the best. No. None of that. Not in one single fight that he had that he won completely by himself. He lost every match if he would have fought by himself. I kid you not. I kid you not. So after the fight scene, Jack says, oh, where did you get this car? Because he has a tournament, you know, the Mortal Kombat symbol. He's like, he has a birthmark. And he was like, funny, because yada, yada, yada. So then... Wait, did you bring up the fact that he lost the fight? Yeah, I said he lost okay, the fight. Let's bring, let's keep that in mind about the fact that he lost this fight. This I just, fight. I just to a regular person, to a regular person, person. He's supposed to be one of the top people, right? So... That, a matter of fact, we're going to keep that in mind because we're going to bring that back up later. We're going to bring that back up later. We got to keep it in mind. Okay, so Cole takes his daughter out to eat with his wife to for some ice cream or something. Jack's keeping an eye on him because he's supposed to keep an eye on the new champion or whatever. So behind, well, now Sub Zero after talking to Shang Soon. He's sub zero now. He's not longer behind. You know, you know what's so important about Mortal Kombat is the color schemes they have for characters in the video games so you can tell them apart. I could not tell this was sub zero. Yo at all. I thought it Exactly. Was, he had all he had all black on. If somebody tried to fight fight him in that sub zero sub zero basically had all black on in this. He movie. looks he looks like us, basically. He just just like us. If we had a black mask, barely really, black mask this is him. The whole movie. There is no blue trim. There is no teal. There is no dark sky blue. Nothing. You can barely see his eyes. You can barely see his eyes to be blue. Like I couldn't even tell that. And like Sub Zero eyes are pure white. I don't know. I don't. don't Pure white. So beyond the text, him at the ice cream thing. They get in the car with Jax. Jax is like their savior. He tells Cole, "Yes, I got." He lifts up his shirt. Yeah, I got the same thing as you do. So apparently. Mm -hmm. Bihan can teleport to wherever they wherever they can, so wherever Cole is, he can go. So what the the stupid idea that Jax has to get out the car while Cole goes off with the car back home somewhere 
while Jax goes into this warehouse or rundown factory where he completely get his ass beat. And then one particular line that he said that was like, okay, what does that mean to a grandmaster? He said, I served six tours. What does that why mean to an assassin? Right no, why did he say that right then? I would understand if he said that, to, like, if he was beating his ass, but he was if getting he his ass said that beat. To Kano or some other human that could comprehend six tours. Yeah. This dude killed people for a living. Jax. He's a grandmaster, like, a quiromancer. He's a, he can control ice, bro. I don't think he cares about your six tours, not to be rude. I, I respect the army. Exactly. But then I don't think he had, he care. I think he could kill little. And so, you know, this is how Jax get his arms ripped off by Sub-Zero, he freezes them, crushes them, kicks them off, hits his head, and I'm thinking no human will survive this. Blood loss, head trauma, he was bleeding out when they yeah. got him. So I'm like, okay, Jack's got his ass beat. Then, it's this, where, what happens next? It's the scene He drops that, off, okay, his family seems perfectly fine, fine. The one that they got almost like murdered by somebody they don't even know. Yeah, because the daughter, the daughter just sleeps. She sleeps. I'll, I guess trauma trauma makes you sleep like just sleep. just just Good gone sleep aid or whatever just shock the wife okay with it the wife is like you gotta do what you have to do bye okay like she bye. like she did not like honey you can't do this you have a yeah. family you have a daughter you need to stay here with me and love me nope he he goes off to go see, see Sonya Sonya this like junkyard thing she. They get into a tussle. Yeah, he it wasn't she, really a tussle. It was more just like a, a, a swift takedown. Yeah, Cole got caught off guard. I'm going to count that as a fight because he threw mm. a punch. So that's two fights that he lost. So as, you know, later on, we we found out. I, I, we're going to keep going. As you found out, as you beat one of the people that has the tournament symbol on them, you get that symbol. So Cole lost two fights. Why hasn't he lost his symbol? Because yet? he's born with it. No, that's the that's the, he's born with that. He's born with it. So why does other people get that? Prince, I cannot, for the love of me, explain it. I really, I really can't. I don't know why Cole gets a pass and gets. See, and that's when somebody said that, like, what's the point of being a chosen one if you can beat somebody right. and just so he was take it? It's not really saying you can you're the chosen one. It just says you have a ticket for killing a champion. That okay? That's stupid. I thought okay. So but no, he has. Yeah. He has his permanently. Nobody can take Coles. He has his permanently for some reason, I guess. Some reason he permanently had one. Let's get to Sonya brings Cole, who she just met. To the church trailer, yeah. yeah. So she brings um, him there. Uh, w w w w she starts, you know, she got the like the paper stuff up like a pro Bro, like a private investigator. They show Nightwolf, not in the movie. Cole Khan. Not in the movie, but guess what? They're I guess they're setting up for the second Mortal Kombat. Then they they bring in Kano. Kano is one of my favorite characters of Mortal Kombat of all time, and absolutely I agree with the majority of the people that tweeted or said on Instagram Kano carried the movie because he did. The person that played Sonya, I didn't know who that was. I didn't know who that was. Oh my goodness gracious! I cannot get into like how bad of an actor that woman was. That that we're not was. shaming, you know. No, I'm shaming. We're not shaming. I'm shaming. I, well, I'm not shaming women or whatever. But her acting, she I'm didn't feel like a Sonya. She didn't have that like hard headed like I'm the major shit. Like she's like Ooh. she wasn't bad ass. She was too busy crying over the tournament symbol because she didn't oh have one. Oh my goodness, great, please. And then please. we get to see Kano and, you know, Kano making a joke that she don't got one. Uh, she caught him killing the other person with the tournament thing, so he now has one. So as they're talking, Reptile gets into the trailer. Reptile. Rep, uh, it's, not oh, even, yeah. it's not even Reptile. Okay. Did, did they even show a scene where Shang Tsung even sent this creep? Because he still sent Sub-Zero. If he yeah. still sent Sub-Zero... So why did you, how did you, know, wait, 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 how did you even know he was going to be there? How did you get a tra trail of yeah. track? Like, does it, does Reptile know who's a chosen one? So he just, sit, like, he can go. Like, yeah, you, they don't clarify so that. So you didn't know that if Sub-Zero finished or not, so you automatically sent this other thing at the same time, Reptile, yeah. to, to apprehend Cole and I guess Kano, I believe. So yeah, Reptile gets... Rep, that creature gets in there. I don't know a lot of reptiles. Short, long story short, Kano kills and rips his heart out. And this is what pisses me off about the movie. Sorry for the language of kids watching. Uh, he says Kano wins. I hate how they commentate for themselves. It doesn't. It didn't even make sense. Who said it, he? Who said he couldn't win? win. Who said he was going to lose? Like it didn't. Who's, it didn't make sense. 
in this battle, this this fight, it was messy. Uh, I'm, I, 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 you know what, Sonya, you don't have a, a, a thing for a reason. You don't have a symbol for a reason because the entire fight, you got. You missed the oh, you missed all most of the daggers you threw at him, even though you're you, trained. You she even hit Kano in the leg. She hit Kano. She she keeps get she got hit the entire time. Yeah. She kept getting knocked down and not like temporarily knocked out like a majority of the the reptile fight. So yeah, you yeah. probably don't deserve it because you can't even at least. Cole didn't do nothing. Cole didn't do nothing in this this fight at all. I don't know where he went. You just said Kano. Yeah. Player. I don't know where Cole went in this movie. Like, I mean, in that, that fight scene. I didn't see him. I know he tried to hit it, but then I, he disappears. And yeah. then we just see Kano take it out. He rips his heart after. Okay. And then Sonya throwing that dagger. It hit it in the back, but it didn't do nothing. It didn't do nothing. It didn't help Kano because Kano just ripped his heart out. So yeah. it really didn't. And so he carries on there. They kill Reptile. Kano's in the trailer talking about, okay, I'm leaving. And to me, Sonya, for every movie, every game, Sonya hates Kano to her guts. Every time she sees Kano, she wants to kill Kano. But in this movie, it's kind of like a flirtatious, like joking with Kano. It's like he's not wanted in the U.S. or wherever they're at. And it's like, this is not the Sonya. Like, for me, for me, honestly, I would have got Ronda Rousey to play Sonya Blade. If she was, she would have been more badass. She would have been more concrete to be Sonya Blade. If she voiced MK11 Sonya, I would have got Ronda Rousey to play Sonya Blade. I would have got Charlene Theron. I would have got uh, who's the, the girl from Get Out? Shit, at least she can act. Brie Lawson. I know people like don't like Brie Lawson because of Captain Marvel. Who else is another girl that could have? There's wait. There's a problem I have. She knows that this dude is like an assassin murderer type dude. Like, One in thirty five states. Literally murdered this, something like this, that. Murdered the person she's looking for, and she just like offers him money to take him two million. To, but you don't threaten him or be like you can have, like use arresting him as like a, a blackmail or something like that, or like I'll take you to jail if you don't like show yeah. me. No, she actually reasons with an asset. Like, I don't think, I don't know if, like, somebody in the army would do that. Yeah, mind you, he's part of the Black Dragon. Oh, yeah, he got his scar from Reptile. But, Reptile. I mean, she just, off, she just, like, offer, offers money she doesn't have instead of actually taking this dude to jail. Yeah. So. That is that. It's the two million. And the thing about this is, I'm going to bring it up later, with Kano taking the two million, okay? Not seeing the money, not knowing where the money's at. Not a clarification of the two million, but he just agrees. So now we get up to where Kano helps them get to where they need to go because he was going to the temple where Raiden is also for some odd reason. So he, he doesn't really specify. He said he, I, I think he was joking or he was actually, I don't know if he was joking or not about yeah. that. But you know what? Yeah, they go to the temple. And oh yeah, let's bring the fact up. Let's bring the fact up. We missed the the, the whole every time every few minutes for some or well, every couple of moments in the movie. Yeah. He see flashes of Hanzo or Scorpion. Hanzo, Scorpion, the Netherworld, and then uh, you know like this it, happens multiple times. Yeah, they don't bring up oh I have been having these nightmares, I've been having these visions. It's nothing like that. So it doesn't it really doesn't know what to add to the movie. Oh yes, y'all, we know Scorpion's gonna come back later on. Ha <laughs> ha yeah, we know. We get it. Yeah. We get it, okay? We get it. So why do y'all need to show it every like every few moments, every time we see that was his only character trait. Is that he see flash he saw flashes of uh the scorpion. Yep. So they go on the ship, he sleep, he sees flashes of scorpion, Joseph in the weight, doesn't tell nobody, doesn't kick, um, doesn't tell nobody anything, just like no, just nope. it's just his own personal thing. Yep. So yeah, Kano, Sonya, they parachute in the middle of some random... And we are in this scene for 10 or 20 minutes, just them walking. And then yeah, Kano yeah. and Sonya get into a tussle. Wait, back it up. Why is Outworld on Earth? I don't recall... I don't recall Outworld being on Earth. I don't know. There's don't... been multiple times where they needed portals and technology to get to... The other in Raiden, they needed Raiden to. So why yeah, I don't, this... I don't, I don't think it's on Earth. It just looked like it's on yeah, Earth. Why, why did they parachute into it? Or how did they parachute into it, Chris? No, I don't think they were. They were still on Earth around. I just think they had to walk to the temple. I think Outer World was like in like hell or whatever. But oh yeah, because during that scene, they had a scene where we get introduced to Molina. So 
Oh, Outworld looks like trash and garbage, and that's why I suspected. I, I suspected. It's, you know, just, it's just a. It's just an open mountain range. No, it's just a desert with a few people in it. Yeah. I saw it. No, once you get a shot, there's a shot of just like people just walking with like long clothes on. Um, I mean long garments on, and then that's it. We don't see no like scavenging murders in the background. You know, um, just like sketchy. We don't see sketchy stuff. We just see just people walking in the field trying to pick stuff up. And then we see Melina. And Melina is the baddest bitch in gaming history ever. And they introduce her by her just walking to meet Shang Tsung. For Beyond, we got to introduce him by he was fighting Hanzo. Wait. Oh, we... Reptile, he can't talk, I guess, but in the games he can talk. But I don't know if that was really Reptile. Oh, oh, let me back this up. First of all, Melina ain't the baddest. Um, Who is? Probably Ada Wong, probably. In gaming history? In gaming history. You can't get that level of seduction that easy. Anyways, what? no. What? I don't like the way they introduce Melina. I oh, think yeah. the best thing to do to introduce her Melina is to show that she can teleport, but like having her teleport and kneel in front of Shang Tsung, like have her, like have from someone his throne, and all of a sudden she just teleports and just like mast and like mast uh, and or whatever. Is she just walking? Yeah, she just walking up to him. She talks. Like she talks normal. And then the second thing is, this is a bad bitch. Like she comes in with blood on her mouth. So I'm guessing. Oh shit, she fought Baraka, Jade, Tanya, Katana. She fought Sindel or something. Like give us some. Why does she got blood on her mouth? And we just introduced. Uh, oh, why? Why didn't they just keep her having a mask on? That would have been more impactful. Like we don't even we should have kept this. Like we don't know who this is. Is this Katana? Is this Molina? Who is this chick? Uh, to, for to introduce the audience, like, and then she can finally reveal her mouth later on. Yeah. In the in, in the movie, no, and, we just out the get go. She just got blood and stuff on her mouth. Okay, yeah. I wish they could have held that off, but. Yeah, Melina talks pretty, she parts pretty good. She talks pretty good. And her razor teeth are kind of looking normal. Honestly, it, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't like razor teeth. I'm sorry. Yeah. It doesn't like you just like, you purposely like, you know how people can purposely like, you know, file oh, their yeah. teeth or you file your, like people file their pixie ears. She, she it's like this lady, I mean, this, this character just, just filed her teeth to like, to do that. So she's walking. She got the moody. She's a moody. She's like the moody teenager in the movie, kind of, in my opinion. Yeah. So she's walking with Shang Tsung, and then she says something. I forgot, Chris, what she said again? I don't even know. I don't know what she said. Oh, Beyond killed one of the champions, which they was talking about Jax. Uh, but the other one got away. Then they showed this very heavily CGI 2D animation kind of looking statue of Goro. Oh, yeah. We, I don't, oh, okay. Um, but then we cut back to Kano, Sonya, and Cole. They've been walking the wrong direction, and out of the blue, Liu Kang appears. Oh my gosh! Over the hill, and he throws a fireball at Kano. Kano's like, "I'm not going to get superpowers." You no, know, Liu Kang places it, and like it was like Liu Kang knew they were coming. Liu Kang, Liu Kang, for some reason knew that they were coming, but didn't meet them where they were going to land. Didn't meet them where they were going to land. But then he takes them back to the temple. Do you want to talk about the many shots we have of the desert, of them being in the desert? It was like seven frames of them just walking. And it it went from day to night, sunset, sunrise, sun, sunset, day, sunset, day, night. sunset. Day. And then they get to the place. It's the ominous music. Oh, we're here. And it's just more land until they actually get to the three door hole things. And I'm like, this is... That's where you show the music. Like that's where you play the music. That's where the key is supposed to be. But no. Oh my goodness gracious. Um. So he gives off some more exposition. He yeah. has to. He has. He has to give give off more exposition and just more, more basic information for sort. You know, for the audience, just in case that we don't know what's already going on already. And then this is what pisses me off. They do all these references because they're probably going like, oh, we're going to do it for more combat too. We get to where they're like in this museum thing. We see Katana's fan. Is she dead? We don't know. Because the only reason you should have those things, if they have dead. things as if they lost or they yeah. died because they, 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 they really, because you, there's no reason for you to have Katana's fan. You had Kodokan's medallion. No, they had, they had, Shen, uh, what? They had, uh, Shinron. They okay. had Shinron. They had Shinron's medallion. They, 
it, okay, they had they just had stuff that was just like, okay, I don't think they should be having this stuff, you yeah. know, what, what's the purpose? So they're walking and talking with Liu Kang. Liu Kang is, I don't know what Liu Kang, I kid you not, I don't know what Liu Kang. Liu Kang, barely. I don't know. He, I know they try to make him like, he's a Shaolin monk, I get that. But Sh Sh Liu Kang is not quiet. He's not shy. And the to put the shit worse, they made him a side character to Kung Lao. Not that Kung Lao is a side character. They're they're there. They're on the same track together. Wait, I mean? before we get to more into like Liu Kang Kung Lao, let's let's talk about when they he 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 give, he goes to Raiden. Let's talk about let's talk about Raiden's first introduction to the group of people. Raiden and every oh wait video, wait he does the the he that thing again. Chris, let in every iteration of. Mortal Kombat. Raiden is Raiden is the most positive person in terms of getting fighters, bringing as many fighters as he can to save Earth Realm, his main realm that the gods don't even care for. He's the main one that wants to protect it. He gets to these guys and just like this is what I have to work with. Lazy. You don't have a mark. You don't know. You don't have your own power yet. You. I never seen somebody complain so much when people come to you. Usually Raiden in the games is so desperate. I kid you not, Raiden is desperate in the video games to find people to fight because he knows that he can't he can't do it on his own. Yeah. And then, Raiden is desperate. I gotta go win. Okay. Raiden is Raiden is, is desperate, but this iteration, he is like so dismissive. He's passive, he's like, leave, get out of here, I don't care, or or, or whatever. So I'm thinking, I never know how are you gonna have this character just I don't know. Is he good? Is he bad? Does he care? Does he not care? Because he obviously doesn't care. Mm -hmm. How are you going to make the main, the, the, the generous of all the gods not even care in this movie? So he just like his brothers and sisters then. Yeah. Okay. The pot calling the kettle back, I guess. So So in one scene, he calls Sonya a liability. And it's a scene. And then after that, he says, she says, how am I she's like, how am I a liability? I hope you get here. I was like, no, Kano. Help you, help. Yeah, you got the helicopter. You were lost, Luke Kane, until Luke Kane happened. You really didn't do nothing. You didn't defeat Reptile. Oh, wait, we forgot a part where they found Jack. Well, like, they see Jack that Yeah, they get Jack. So, yeah, Jack. he got the robotic arms. He, they small. Yeah. Until. <laughs> they, I know they had a tech. Cut it. I know they had a technology to get him some better arms. They did. I'm, I'm calling He's, it. There was a god in there. Yeah, Chris, I'm calling it now. There's some technology in there. To get him some better arms. They really just like, let's get him some scraps. And if they're not really falling, I'm pretty sure the cyber clan, the cyber initiative clan, whatever. But let's get back to, oh, and let's go. Oh, I can't wait till we talk about the train, the quote unquote training. Chris, if you ever put, if I, when you do this, put training in between this. Training. Because that's, it's, it's training for these people. Wait, it's training. Okay. So let's get to the training because for some reason, even after Raiden told these people to get out, he doesn't care and stuff like that. Liu Kang and um, Liu Kang still was like, "Let's do." It. Oh wait, did Sub Zero come in? Oh wait, no, Sub Zero need to come in first. Sub Zero comes in. Oh no, Shang Tsung and so this is Raiden's temple. So I'm guessing anybody can come in. Because, I'm guessing because Shang Tsung, Melina, <laughs> Beyond, well Sub Zero and Cabal, they just walked in there like. It was like their house, and I'm like, Wait, you don't what? have no like burial for like people that's not you know with you or nothing. No, they just walk in. Wait, Wait Cabal wasn't with them yet. This okay. was just um, this is just Sub Zero, Shang Tsung, and Melina. Mm -hmm. They roll up in there. <laughs> they roll up in there like we're taking this. Everybody get what you want. We good. We Gucci over here. You get that. You get this. We about to take the over. Where it comes in there like a bitch. What you shall not be here, bitch. If somebody come to your house, what you wanna do? You gonna beat their ass like Shane Soon be like, you need, we need to wait till the tournament, bro. Oh. You talking to Shane Soon? Oh, you talking to Sub Zero, Molina? Out of all people, you waiting for a tournament to throw hands? No, no, no. 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 You no. Why would you let them walk in there and then you just gonna put up a barrier? Oh. A barrier. Okay. He puts up a barrier. But he puts they, up a barrier. They're not concerned, so they get back to training. Lou came. Oh yeah, they out. just leave. They just when they leave without a fight, they just like you know what? All right. I didn't. I was surprised he didn't keep nobody there to wait or 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 did just no. They were just like, well, we got better things to do. Let's go. Let's Kung, go, y'all. Kung Lao trains K 
Kane up. Oh, no, oh, Kong yeah. Train is cold. Oh yeah, I forgot. Before we talk about the scene, when Sub Zero first first arrives there, he arrives there first before she, and then he attacks Liu Kang, who loses automatically because you know. So then Kung Lao had to come in there and like, I don't know, what did he do? Oh he, yeah, that's when Kung Lao. That's when Kung Lao came in because Liu Kang definitely, the way Liu Kang looks and this and, and acts in this, I know he was not taking on Sub-Zero or at least going head to head with him. He, and Liu Kang could at least like hold him off. They didn't even let him hold him off in this no. movie. They did not let, so Kung Lao comes in and like, I don't, I forgot what he does. He just, so he like forewarns them. They back up. They leave. Kung Lao says, then Cole's like, who's this? Kung Lao said, I'm your great champion. I'm like, I'm like, whoa. I'm like, Luke King is the great champion. I don't give a fuck. You know what's the awkward? You're not going to bring this awkward moment. When Kung Lao is explaining himself, there's Luke King just, just looks at him like this. Say it like, just say you're the great champion. I'm the great champion. No, the way like that, the awe. way they just show Luke King looking at Kung Lao, just like, so just like. Like, Luke King is a whole ho. And so let's get to the train and crest. This is the main. This is where the movie really just shows you how much. <laughs> Bro, Cole was Cole was training with Kung Lao. You know, this is the problem I'm with. Y'all know that these people suck. Y'all know these people suck, and they don't, they don't have nothing. Why don't y'all give them a demonstration of what they're about to get into between y'all, like you know, oh, yeah. do, doing like you know, do rivaling up like Luke King, Kung Lao. Show them like what they're about to do. Hold on. Show them hold, their all hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Raiden is a. Elder God, and he trains or watches over everybody that he like has as a champion. He's not in none of these training montages. Not none, one. Not none. Apparently, he's nowhere to be seen in, in half, half of this movie. movie. Chris, and when I mean half, like no, I'm saying seventy five percent. Seventy five percent. He's seventy five percent. He is not in this movie. I kid you Bro, not. Bro, snowflakes from Sub Zero was in the movie longer than him. <laughs> That's. That's how sad the movie was. So, Liu Kang and Kung Lao think the best thing to do is to automatically beat people. I mean, automatically just go throw hands with the like people that they haven't trained yet instead of just giving demonstrations. So, Kung Lao and Cole go first. Kung Lao, of course, beat, like, no, wait. No, I terrified that he lost the upcoming training. Yeah, he, he, he upper hands Kung Lao at first, hand-to-hand-wise. Okay, all he did was, like, get on his legs and, like, pin him down, which would still would kill somebody with a weapon. Yeah. So then, second round, he beats Cole. Third round, he beats Cole with his hat this time and slices him. He think it was a good idea to throw his sharp hat at a training, at the training, like, the person just training. He thinks it's, he thinks it's okay. Like, to oh, do. uh, narcotics. Not, not, not narcotics. No, they talk about narcotics. Like, they talk narcotics. about Yeah. Okay, that happens. And then I'm guessing this is a nod to the video game or whatever because they have Luke Kane versus Kano, and Luke Kane kicks Kano like three times with a so reference to the game. Yeah, with a sweet kick. And yeah, that happened heart to heart, where he's healing this like little baby cut. And that scene was so awkward to me because what did he even do to heal the? We might put the flame on it so it could heal. Then they get back to the trainer. They finish training. Then they go back to they go have lunch or whatever. And oh my goodness, Dre. This yeah. was scene. This okay. I'm so surprised they're just like okay with like. So at first they didn't. They told Sonya to leave or to like go. You're a liability. Why are you even here? Mm -hmm. So they just like come sit down, Sonya. Like yeah. sit down, girl. Like come in, come down. Like come eat. And then like, like they're what's their friend called again? Arcanas. The Arcanas have like their special ability. Like Kano's light. I mean laser eye. Sonya's ring blast. Uh, Luke Kang's fire, you know. Um, so they get it out of comp, out of Kano, which make they just got him riled up and angry. And so his is laser eye, which that's not an actual thing from Kano. Kano has a cybernetic eye from which, technology, which like, does that for him. But no, it's a ability that I read. They got a cardboard or something and just taped it to his eye and put like a a, a, a scope on it or whatever to at least show he has a. And, but no, he has just a, a laser eye organically. And so apparently, I don't know how that if works. Anybody awakens this, you can have special abilities. So I'm guessing everybody in this world can have it, unless you're a champion. I'm guessing. But then they do that. They have a scene with Jax and Sonya where Jax is trying to work out his new arms. He can't do it. He's having a pissy fit. 
I've never okay. seen such basic conversation between people that were supposed to be known to and, like have a good history. And then with them trying to connect with them, Sonya just mentions a 20 mile run that they did in the army. And yeah. that was it. They, we got done, we got from them was I served six tours and 20 mile run. Yeah. That's it. That's it. No background on why they care so mainly care so much or why they mainly were here for the army or something no. like that. Why they like why they so heavily trying to find Jackson and Sonya not even dating? So it's like, okay, they work together. That's it. That's it. I'm guessing because they were like thinking, oh, the OGs know why Sonya and Jax are together. Okay. Elaborate on that. That's like saying having a Spider Man movie without the Uncle Ben death. Mm. That mm. it is basically like that. Yeah, now let's get to it. Hold on, what? Hold on. Wait, we get back to the Shang Tsung. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. We get back. Okay. Ooh, can I? I gotta say this. We didn't talk about this. Shang Tsung is on a ledge for his throne. Can somebody explain to me what I most have? Like this dude is vain. He loves when people like show him, like show him like you know submissive. He has a whole temple in the game for him that you have to play to climb up the ladder. Or the, the, the arcade yeah. to get to his top because he cares so much about himself. He has a thing. He has a a, 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 a throne on the ledge. Please tell me why. Y'all know Shang Tsung need, wants or needs a temple. They could have at least. Yeah, they didn't even give him his original temple. What? What do you even do there? You just have a throne on the ledge for just for that. And it's not even looking at the view. It's looking at the door. That, <laughs> it's looking at, at a door. Just a door. The reason Shang Tsung has a temple because he has workers bringing him souls and like working underneath it to like really? create, you know, to create monsters or creatures to fight. No, he just has a ledge. And then we get introduced to some bird cre- screeching, screeching. His greatest creation, but it was really Molina was his greatest creation. So it comes in. Everybody looks annoyed at this creature. I kid you not. You could just like all she do is screech. She she, she didn't even, screech. she didn't even screech. I kid you not. They just made they just got bird noises and just put them in the background every time. Oh, that's all they did. Okay, so she comes in and he she's just all moving all okay. So they, everybody just like okay. And then <laughs> Goro comes in. But before that happened, Wait, Cabal, Cabal. Cabal was like, oh, was there a big mouth that said Ken? Ken didn't even say his name to nobody. Chris, how did he... Can, can I, we gotta talk about how did they even know anybody's name. I, I Let's don't get know. to this later. Cabal, for some reason, already knows that, that Kano, Kano is, is there. there. I don't know how. Nobody really says... Their names. Their names or what they look like. Anybody could be a big burly dude that, that can like be pot, a potty mouth, whatever. Yeah. So Cabal is just like, well, I know Kano, so... He's like, you know, a double crosser. No, if he double crossed me and stuff like that. So let okay. me ask him if we if he wants some money to be on our side. And we're gonna talk more about yeah, we're gonna get okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that later. I'm um, at the movie. So what happened is Kano is walking around by himself. He gets to the portal, Cabal is there, he's talking about you used to be the fear person and dragon, nobody wanted to, you know, talk with you. But then he was like, what if we can double your money, then double it more, then double it if you break this barrier? Chris, and they didn't even say money. He just said, just spot, think about uh, the war that you want. And double he, it. And he said we could turn this tip onto a casino for you. I'm like, bro, this is the second person that offered you money without any explanation. They didn't have a picture of the money. Why they didn't like show you the money. They didn't even want to bring you to the money. So like, he just, was so naive and so easily just like so easily swayed by the thought of this money because his character is money, money, money. Like, they have to see the money. And can I just say, there's a point where they're talking and they get so close to the force field. They might as well just have just had them walk through walk it. through it. Because I kid you not, they were like literally inches from their face. Yeah. Like, they could, if someone had tripped, they, I kid you not, if someone had tripped, I'm pretty sure they would have phased right through it. Because there's no reason for them to have been that close and not. So, yeah, Cabal persuades Kano. We get the scene where Kano blows up. Raiden's staff. So I'm thinking, you know, Raiden, you should have a long on your staff when it breaks, right? Why isn't he there near his staff in the first place? Your prize, main source of power. You're nowhere near to be found. You don't have no guards. Nothing. Where are the people in this temple at? We literally saw people, people. in this. They're not there anymore. Nope. Nowhere. So, okay. So, no, there's. Raiden just lets this thing get destroyed because he knows where everybody is at. And at, at so I guess he just allows it to happen. And mine does. Raiden said he's he can't temper with nothing. He can't do anything. He has to let the path go its path. I didn't want you to get involved. Yes, he doesn't want to get involved with anything. So everybody comes through. We get the people come back in. Shang Tsung, be, uh, Sub-Zero, Melina. Kano's on the bad side now. We get this new character, which is really what in the, in the um, 
Armor, I think it was an Armageddon. I'm not sure. But yeah, we get this character. Can you look at the character real quick? The dude with the hammer, I wasn't there. The end of General Rico, Rico, Rico or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Back to the name of thing. Nobody has mentioned who they are. Melina hasn't mm -hmm. mentioned anything. Uh, Cabal, he probably said his name because he's like a small, he's like a dead fool. He talks a lot and he's like cunning or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's General Raiko. I don't know how he is. Okay. Yeah, General Raiko. So, yeah. Wait, let me see who he is. Oh, yeah, no. uh, oh, okay, wait, we're, we're, we're probably on. We're probably we're on. We're about to fight everybody. Wait, did we still get back to the multiple trainings where they didn't train, they didn't really learn anything at all? Yeah, we did that. Okay, so everybody's, okay, yeah, Kano destroys the field. Then Shang Tsung and Sub-Zero, they swarm in there with this black large cloud. And then Melina, yeah, Melina comes in. So everybody's, you know, face to face again. Yeah. So what happened was, <laughs> Liu Kang fights Cabal. Uh, Kong Lao fights the dragon Nikita, whatever her name is. Jax fights General Rikido. Rikito. And we gotta break down each of these fights. Yeah. You know so which one I'm going for. Yeah, yeah, you can have that one. So let's wait. Liu Kang one. Right? It's the Liu Kang one. Okay, so I'm gonna break down the Kong Lao one. Kong Lao. The scene was not needed at all because it was just him standing there in the sand where they was training at before in the movie. And the thing is swarming. And now he's doing this like thing to like, I'm guessing, calm his nerves or whatever so he can hear. Wait, before you finish, can I break out? At this point, in this point in the movie, they just had this thing just flying. Yeah. And just flying. Flying. And just flying. And just it just kept flying. And you couldn't really see it. So... If y'all really wanted to show y'all visuals, y'all could have showed it flying or like going underneath oh, something. Oh, we they forgot. Didn't. We forgot. We got. We forgot. They sent Cole back oh. to his home before they came. Before Shang Tsung, Sub Zero, Molina, and Kano, and because I told you, we forgot the train that when he got beat so bad that he was like, "Okay, I can't do this." He leaves, and he just he just left. He didn't want to be like. Raiden was like, "Bye, all right, good." Like he know. didn't want to be like, "Give me a second chance, but, Master Raiden, or nothing." Well, I wouldn't call him Master Raiden, but, 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 Raider or whatever but, Raider. He just left. He went back to his family. Goro shows up there. But we get back to the scene where we're fighting with in the Raiden's temple. Kong Lao is just there quiet. The dragon thing swarms down. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> uh, then he jumps on his back. He jumps on it, the, the, the screeching thing back. Because back. For some throws reason, his head. Yeah, for some reason, she thinks it's perfectly good to attack somebody purposely just flying directly right at them. at them. Screeching at them as like, high as she can. So, like, a reasonable person, Kung Lao, just, I mean, Kung Lao jumps on his back, has his head thrown into the sand where it just, you know, she keeps flying straight. She doesn't try to throw him off or nothing. Like, she knows he's, like, on her back. And then she goes straight through it. And then this is where, like, they commentate themselves. He gets to has his flawless victory. I'm like, bro, no, like that, it wasn't a battle. That it like, wasn't a battle. I mean, I get the flawless victory, but like Shao Kahn, Shang Tsung didn't say it, bro, so it doesn't feel right. It wasn't. A, it wasn't even a battle. So it's like, why are they commentating their wins? It's not like he won. Like he like got the upper hand and finally won like a fight. Mm -hmm. No, it's just that you just rode on her back and just like, you know, she so happened to land on the... Yeah, Melina beats Sonya ass. She doesn't want to kill Sonya because she doesn't have the champion blood. She then, Kano comes, pick her up, boom, throws her over the ledge. Jax gets distracted fighting General Rico. General Rico throws him over there. Kano and then... Kung Lao uh, and Kano, Kung Lao is literally just like pushing Kano against the wall. No, Kano, Cabal is pushing... Liu Kang against the wall, and he is absent for a good twenty minutes. Yeah, they made Liu Kang and like he, like he's just they're just like stuck on a wall the entire time. I kid you not, because Liu Kang should have like easily dismayed. You know what? I can't even get to it. But Liu Kang is like out. He's tapped out for the you know for a couple of minutes of the movie. Not like he did anything, anyways. Yeah, he didn't do anything, anyways. So. So then Kano shoots the arm off a statue. It lands on Sonya. But I'm not going to keep going. I'm going to finish this wrap up for you. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Shang Tsung grabs Kong Lao, the great champion. Sucks the soul out of Kong Lao. That wasn't even a good scene. Oh, wait. We didn't talk about Goro and um. Cole. I don't even want to talk about that fight. I'm going to gloss over it. Goro, no way. Goro comes like gets teleported to for some reason the barn because Shang Tsung for some reason knows where Cole is already. Gets up in the barn. Cole go, goes to try and like deal with like deal with it and some of that and tries to like up. They send Goro the most prized fighter in Mortal Kombat. Okay, 
So cold, it's getting beat pretty bad. And I'm sorry for Goro. They made Goro like so weak in this movie because he should have tore Cole in half as soon as he touched him. Cole, is very, Cole should have been easily split in half by Goro. So his wife, that, who's there, tries to attack Goro. Before gets her. knocked back. Then for some reason, think it's a good idea to have her and her daughter get in the truck and try and run the monster over or this creature over. This strong creature is already tearing and your husband. this is where Cole gets his narcotic or narcona. Narcona. Narcona, whatever. So, what you say? Iron Man, Black Panther kind of suit. It's, it's, it's not even full body. It's hold, like just a top half. Hold on. The fact is, Guru still beats his ass. What? He gets another upgrade. Still yeah, the movie was like, the movie was like this ain't enough. Write that in. He still get he getting beat too bad. He yeah. still get his ass beat. The only reason he lost is because Cole got the weapons like Tanya has in the games. Cut his arms off. Splits his like kind of like he sh Goro shouldn't have lost that. Goro shouldn't have lost that, and they that's, didn't even show him. Oh how. yeah, that's another fight that Cole didn't win by himself. So that's like what five matches that he lost you know he would have lost if he only had that for some reason they thought having cole have armor is a good arcana he still, in get, top he still get messed up he gets messed up and the only thing that saved him was he had weapons and i kid you not goro carries weapons too he just so happened not to have them and he has spot he can throw fireballs you remember he can goro can and, throw fireballs as well and Jalen had this amazing scene to introduce goro you want to tell him Wait, first I thought Goro should be in a movie, but the thing is, I forgot what I said. How you said, like... Oh, wait, have it, it... Like, say, like, Cole was looking out the window washing dishes, and he sees something in the distance, and then all of a sudden, he just sees it jump into the air. And that would build suspense. Like, what is this? Like, oh, everybody knows, oh, snap, what's about to happen? And then say it comes crashing down yeah. onto the house, and it, like, topples over. Like, there's, like, debris over his family, so he doesn't know if his family did or alive or not. And then... Yeah, that awakens his arcana because he doesn't know. He thought he he think he lost angry. his family. He sees blood. He thinks they're dead. Yeah. He wastes it. He yells. Then he like they fight, but no, like Cole had so much help in this movie, bro. It wasn't even funny. <laughs> so let's just, let's have him wrap this up. Okay. No, Cole gets teleported. No, no, Raiden shoots his lightning bolt because everybody getting beat. So. Yeah, teleports them back, and before they leave. Kung Lao rolls back out of the portal. He gets telekinetic pull to Shang Tsung. I didn't know he could do that. Didn't know. I know he could do some some, but he was he was far. He yeah. was far, Chris. And not only that, nobody stopped Shang Tsung at all. Liu Kang didn't throw a fireball at him like he usually does. Cole, Cole didn't do nothing. Cole didn't try to punch him. Raiden didn't try to electrocute him. Like I was like, they literally just watched Kung Lao get body. So much for the great champion for not even taking his hat off to cut all Shang Tsung's hand okay. or teleporting out of Shang Tsung's grasp. And, oh no. yeah, and I gotta say something. They're, Colin, no, Jackson, Sonya, they just completely knocked out. Somebody must have gave them some Z-Quill or some of that. Yeah. They, they were knocked out for like a good while while this is going on. But we're gonna wrap this up. Wait, so no, let, yeah, let's, let, let's they get teleported into this like realm where they talk it and then they bring Colin out. Like, yeah, they're dead. But wait! There's more. Wait, let's get to the point, though. Wait, let's get to the fact that Jax got his Arcana, which is super better metallic arms, everybody. He can just make metal. He, he no, makes metal. He doesn't make metal. He just has thicker arms. He, it, it's he, something. He has thicker arms. They don't shoot nothing. They don't do nothing. They're just thicker arms. So he lifts a, like lifts a hand or like a, a piece of statue that fell on Sonya. And she's just like, so, yep. Th but, but this is... So they're a plan... Cole says we have to split up after getting y'all as be smarter. But and no, wait, hold on. Before I, I gotta say this, Liu Kang comes to like Raiden and says, Kung, uh, like, Kung Lao is dead. And Raiden just says, I'm sorry. That's it. Nobody yeah, cares. I, that's it. One of his heavily met, like, followed, like, people that he trained and, like, helped raise and stuff like that, he just says, I'm sorry. That's it. The, doesn't care that much. Doesn't like offers his condolence or what, like what we can do to prevent it or what, like feels. He doesn't even like take credibility for himself. He's just like, well, yeah. So that then, sucks. so then they have this plan. They got they plan on separating to fight the people that they want to fight. Jax wants General Rico. They haven't even mentioned their names. So I don't know how oh. they know. And then Jax knows they, his name. Uh, Cole knows Molina's name. I never heard Molina's name being told. Sonya, no, yeah, of course can't. 
You know what? Yeah, Chris. Uh-huh. So yeah. then they split up. Sonya takes on Kano in her trailer park. I don't know why Kano is there at her trailer park. Because Raiden teleported him there. I guess he did. I okay, the fact did. that Raiden teleported him there and Kano just like knew what like who was there I or guess. what to do. But or he just like walks up like he wasn't confused. He was just like, "Yep, I'm just in the trailer park now." Yeah, their fight scene was meteor meteorocre or whatever how you say the word because she's hiding in the dark or whatever i'm like this is not actual mortal combat they're just not really fighting they're not fighting then jack fights the general rico dude over the pit he doesn't do the stage fatality which was wasted and then he gets so high because he has new arms okay then uh cole and luke came by cabal and melina somehow cabal gets into some quicksand or tar which gets him stuck luke came does this fire dragon that he usually does in like the shadow monks or every mortal kombat game cole and melina has this worst scene fight scene in this movie all she does is they copy and paste she teleports punch teleport. goes back teleport punch Teleport gets behind them. Teleport punch. And then they try to make it bad, like to show off her teeth and how wide she comes in her mouth. She bites his uh, armor that, yeah. that can be penetrated. So they're just sitting like this for like a while before Sonya gets her arcana. Wait, Sonya kills Kano because, okay, for reasons, she kills Kano. She gets the, the warrior thing now. She's so elated. I've never seen such a bright and happy smile on somebody, like a pleased with their light smile, because she wanted to be so badly a warrior, so bad. Her main character, character trait was just to be a warrior and be a part of the group for some reason. Don't know why. She just wanted it so bad. She tele... How did she teleport there? How did... How... Yeah, because Jackson teleport. So, I guess... No, I guess... Raiden just knew that she got her arcana and was like, okay, you can be you can be helpful now. Yeah, but then... Okay, we're just going to hurry and wrap it up there. Uh, Kane, uh, Cole needs help with Melina. He said, I need help. Sonya shoots her blades, kills Melina. Yeah. Then somehow behind, well, Sozio gets Cole's family. Cole goes to the fake scene where he went first. So he's there. Scorpion comes for like 10 minutes. They had this nigga Scorpion take off his mask so many times. Uh, remember this face. My name is Scorpion. You killed my family. <laughs> You carry on my lineage, and he just keeps putting like, that let's on. Let's take a note that Scorpion also kidnaps Cole family, that, and then brings them to for some reason. He Who? brings um, Sub Zero. Yeah, Sub Zero. Sub Zero. Sorry, I'm gonna say something name, but Sub Zero, Sub Zero kidnaps Cole's family and brings them to the same place he killed Jack. Well, not killed Jack's. No, that was the it was the fight at Reno. That was the Reno. <laughs> oh dang, it was. And then, wow. then Scorpion fights. Yada yada yada. Cole comes in, get his ass beat. What and what Scorpion? So Zero was low key handling it. I, I give it to Sub Zero. He was taking so care. Sub Zero was handling them perfectly, and I gotta tell you, they did a bad job. Even you with two people, camera? huh? You want I mean, I'm just because I gotta think. I can't because I just they they were so horrible. Like you would think that Scorpion would have trained enough and have so much anger to be like a really pristine fighter. Yeah, but no. he's old. I get it. He's old. Chris, yada, he's yada, dead. Yada. You can't yeah, be old and true. you can't be old and dead. You're literally a spawn of hell now. You should have had more um to fight Sub Zero, but no. Yeah, but then, you know, they get the upper hand on, on Sub-Zero. He takes the mask off again. He's mine. Da, 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 kills him with the Hellfire, uh, like Mortal Kombat 1 on 2, Fatality, you know, Skeleton Face. Gets the family free. Shane soon shows up. Raiden's like, you know, this shit, he talks too much. And I'm like, bro, I was like, you said you could interfere, but you interfered there. He gets the smart and said... He talks too much. So, bro, why couldn't you have helped Kong Lao? You mean you could have told dying? me you could have sent Shang Tsung back multiple times, but instead you just let him walk into your place, kill your people, and all the different stuff. But him saying Shang Tsung talks too much, Shang Tsung didn't even talk enough in this movie for me. And then the movie, they are so happy, cheerful that Shang Tsung has promised to bring armies on top of armies on top of armies. They're so happy to hear that. Because they are in a group circle, smiling, cheesing, and then Raiden responds to that with saying, "We need to get more champions, not armies." 
on top of armies, like Shang Tsung is. Just champion. We just need to get champion. And I believe, believe Shang Tsung is that armies on top of armies. He can't yes. really raise the dead whenever he wants to. So, that, it, it ends like that. Cole goes back to the thing. The dude's like, we need you. He's like, nah, I'm not fighting for $200 fights no more. He said, where you going then? Hollywood. Johnny Cage. Okay. He should be in the movie. Oh, I mentioned all these people and not have them in the movie. I gotta wrap this up for me because I gotta say something. If you want to, this movie is not good if you write, like the Mortal Kombat series or you like game or like like a good story. And I, what, people are so used to having mediocre and trash movies nowadays. Th they, they take crumbs. Y'all taking crumbs from the, the movie industry. Y'all serious? A billion, billions of dollars, your money going into like lackluster, basic, not even, not memorable movies. I won't remember this movie. Okay. So why y'all taking crumbs saying it's just a fun story? It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be this, this, that. I didn't have fun watching this movie. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just wanted a good story to why to for stuff to make sense. None of the stuff made sense to me. It was just like here's this, here's this. it's like somebody had action scenes and then just then try to write stuff around the action scenes so the action scenes could take place. That's just me. Chris, uh, here we go. Then I'm gonna end it the video. Um, so, my thing about the movie is, they had people take, they, t they had Kano take fireball, electricity, he gets up with, out of the scratch, any bruises, he's not limping. They had Cole's wife take a hit from Goro, and she just gets up all handy dandy. Like, she is perfectly fine. They mentioned so many people, then bring them in. The fight scenes, every time somebody do a hit, the camera would change. Like, it would be like, hit, camera change, hit, camera change, hit, camera change, hit, camera change. The story went there. They did Molina dirty. They didn't have the characters dirty. And then that end sequence where they had them all fight and they just kill all the bad people. Like, it wasn't no training montage. It won't no motivational train. speech. It was train. just a plan, which was basically separate and we just fight them. And they didn't even train. You know what's worse? They didn't train. And this wasn't about combat. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even a t the tournament. This was be even before a tournament even started. We don't even know when the tournament is even starting. Cole was useless. Uh, he lost all his fights. He's not even a champion. They didn't even make Luke King a champion. They only had Kong Island here just to die from Shang Tsung. Uh, like I said, if you think this movie was great, good for you. No. I'm not really saying anything, but, you know. If you thought this movie was great, I think you have lack of taste and you just don't like good story or consistency. And I really can't take it. If I were here, any other choices you like in terms of movies? I, I Movies, I'm sorry. I can't take you seriously. If you really think this movie deserves, like, if I don't even trust you if you said this movie was okay. It's not even okay. Because you destroyed the lore. You gave us card, not even cardboard characters. I mean, I'm talking about paper thin characters. Paper thin. I don't care about them. I don't care. I didn't care when nobody died or at all or got hurt because they, they didn't give us nothing backing to make these us characters feel like related to or care for. So if you like a movie with no story, empty plot, um, no characters, no character development, but hey, they they they're fight they they they're fighting and there's quick scenes and there's gore. Everybody loves gore so much. There wasn't enough gore. There wasn't enough gore in my opinion. They did two fatalities. But well, other than that, that's what I take on the movie. Uh, just let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, like I said, the movie was ass. It was garbage. So that's all we had to say about it. Trust me, if you you got nothing to do and you're gonna waste your time, I wouldn't see it either. I wouldn't see it if you wanted to waste your time. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's me. Okay, but if you oh yeah, Dimension Raiden took Scorpion's daughter. Nothing. Don't know why. There's nothing else mentioning Scorpion's daughter. I would have got if that was Cole's grandma, Cole's mother. It she was in there somewhere in the temple. She's somewhere training. Nothing, but that was just it. That like Scorpion, like Scorpion's daughter was just. Why wasn't she the champion? No, nope, right? Just, nope. It just had to be lineage. For some reason, he has a special thing where he get the. Get, why does he get the chosen birthmark stuff? But yeah, this movie. No, no. People are saying that you're not even supposed to enjoy consistency and like you know story nowadays. Apparently, in this movie too, because everything doesn't need to make sense to be good. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm gonna use that use that as a quote. Everything doesn't need to be make sense to be good. Apparently, but that's that's our take. You know, let us know in the comments what you think of the movie. But we just thought it was a waste of time. It was terrible. But other than that...
Catch you in the next video. Catch you in the next video. That's it.